Okay guys, so we had a bit of a upload issue with our Watford episode. Um, it got corrupted, but we did win 1-0 on an Aubameyang goal. So we're going to move on. Our next match is in the Europa League against Adu. And let's uh, get into that press conference to start. Lacazette is in good form. Will we see more of him today? Yes, we will. He's starting. I'm looking after all players in their squad and their desire to play. Lacazette must make the most of any chance he gets if he wants to cement his place. It's the beginning of the Euro Europa League campaign. campaign. Can your team start with a win? We've been uh, waiting for this figure fixture. The lads can't wait for the opportunity to get their first Europa League win. Is, is the fact that the last match was so close with just one goal the difference affect the squad set up in any major way? The necessary changes will be made in order to deliver the best outcome we can. Thank you. And James Whittlesworth hits home. So, as you can see here, Aubameyang goal settles Watford defeat. And we'll jump into our next match and get things underway. We should have an excellent chance to win the Europa League. You see our squad there. We made some uh, changes at the end of the Watford episode, but corrupted, so you didn't get to see that. So, Lacazette starting, Pepe, Ozu, Winduzi, Shaka, Mkhitaryan, Mustafi, Holden, Bellerin, Leno, Glasniak, which is a solid squad, I think. And I brought up the youngster, Saka. And Plenty of nervous anticipation, but now it is for real. Match day one in the Europa League. Who will get off to a positive start with all three points? We have all the action for you live on EA TV. An atmosphere of excitement and anticipation here in North London at the home of Arsenal. I'm Derek Ray, and joining me for commentary is the former Arsenal defender, Lee Dixon. We've got the first match of this group stage in the UEFA Europa League to bring you tonight. It's Arsenal taking on Den Haag. Well, it's exciting times in the Europa League. All starts here. One of these teams could be going all the way, you never know. Important to get off to a good start. over recent years there's not a bad seat in the house no there isn't it's a brilliant stadium obviously I'm very attached to the old stadium but if you're gonna build a new one build it like this well just reflecting Lee on the first season for Arsenal post Arsene Wenger they did at least get to a European final yeah they did they had a decent start as well after a couple of bad defeats game one and two but after that they went on a long, unbeaten run, but I just think he was covering over the cracks for me. What summed it up was when they went 1-0 down in the final, the team fell apart. Need to get a bit more spirit in the club. In a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. So close to keeping himself onside, but offside is the verdict. Well, and that's his job, the linesman. Give those tight oh. offside decisions and get them right. Come on, man. Here are the starters for Arsenal. 
Bernd Leno gets the nod in goal. Skotran Mustafi plays with Rob Holding in defence. Granit Xhaka plays with Hendrik Mkhitaryan in the centre of midfield. And it's two strikers up front who'll look to provide the goal-scoring threat. the ball fired to the near post. Xhaka. Here's Ozil. Matteo Guendouzi. Xhaka. And a goal has been scored in the Leipzig game. Let's hear about that goal from Arabak and Ali. It's a goal for the home team. Seven minutes played, 1-0. Thanks very much as always, Alan. Xhaka. And scope for the cross. Ozil. Oh, we. This is how the visitors will set up today. We're thinking 4 3 3. Yeah, one central striker, Derek. The width comes from the wingers who will stay high and wide. A very narrow midfield and a conventional back four. And it's with Immers. And a shocking pass, pass really. Running. And it was known as the UEFA Cup until Whistle. season 2009. Oh, pass here. Right on Shot. The oh, it's a crossbar. Right against the post, but back and play. Well, after that piece of woodwork bruising, the goalkeeper can breathe a big oh, sigh of relief. So well, it's their best friend, the woodwork. Keepers always tell me that. It certainly helped him out there. Making excellent progress with the ball at his feet. Tackle. Lacazette here. Lacazette. Oh. Piece of goalkeeping you're going to see again and Great again save. and again. Well, chance after chance. Derek, listen to the crowd. They're expectant. Full stretch, two hands. Here comes Arsenal corner. Corner kick played over. And clearing like the lines. And so it will be a corner now. Another corner. We'll go near post. So the corner played into the box. Well clattered away. And unsuccessful. But we keep it keep possession. Well sitting deep like this might be a dangerous game. Mikitarian. What does he have up his sleeve here? Mikitarian. Oh. Almost going to be the goalkeeper's ball. Well, we can now go to keeper. Alan McAnally for news of a goal elsewhere. Alan? It's a goal for the home team. 27 minutes played. 1-1. One, one. Thank you, Alan McAnally. Arsenal dominating possession over the last 15 minutes. I'm really impressed with how they've created from midfield. Their forwards have been really good as well. Creating chances around that box. Can they put oh. one away? And the Getting defender so finding close. a solution to the problem. Just have to close it out finish it. He could pick out a teammate. Fruitful looking attack. It did appear that they might be onto something, but not so. Netsi. A do with a nice run. Excellent use of the ball oh. as they make their way forward. Uh -oh. I have a chance here. He's shot. Got to score. And well, see to man. hang on to the ball, which he did. Holding. Now Bayerin. Well, let's get details of a goal that's been scored in one of the other games from Alan McAnally. It's a goal for the visitors. 40 minutes played. 1-0. Alan McAnally with his finger on the pulse. A few minutes away from halftime. 0-0. Nil -nil. Malone. Individual. In the box Bay. shot. He's gone for power and play, but it's wide. Well, no real direction, but the power was there. And you're right, it's just gone past the post. Couple minutes till half time. Let's see if we can get something going. Jacker with it. On the ball, Henrik Mikitahia. Oh, we have a room with Pepe. Pepe. Oh, what a tackle. Have to tackle inside your own penalty area. What a tackle. What the fans think of that decision. They're set. And that's half time. It's going to be all for the first half here at the home of Arsenal. 
Well, an honest assessment would be that he hasn't really been on top of his game in attack league. Well, as we can see, he's been in and out of this game. Not like him, to be fair. All will be forgiven if he gets the winner, though. He had a great chance, but an amazing tackle was made. And uh, the score is around. Uh, nothing too crazy so far at halftime. Let's see. Uh, I think we're going to leave everybody where they are for now. If we get a goal. Then we'll, be, we'll start switching some guys out. And the second half begins in this Europa League group stage match day one contest. Winduzi, the run. Lacazette. Lacazette. Oh. Prolazi Natch. Matteo Guendouzi. Oh, they let him hold the ball. Still on level terms, Cross. moving the ball oh, nicely. Unsuccessful. Danger averted. No real danger. And let's go to Alan McAnally because a goal has been scored on the Betis game. Alan. It's a goal for Real Betis. 51 minutes played. 1 0. Regular updates from Alan oh, McAnally along from the way. The box. Make it a shot. Off. To give them the lead, maybe. Oh. Reflex action. Par Did not need to from take it. Lado. Let's bring Kate in. Didn't need to knock that out and give him a corner. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. Corner and comes firing in it into the area. And cleared out. And cleared behind for what is going to be a corner kick. Corner kick played in. Kick. Shot. Well, you can see Ooh. he was feeling the pressure, but gave it a go anyway. Not yeah, close, close for well, It was definitely worth the chance, just got the technique a little bit off. Oh, not far off at all. Well, I'm hearing there's been a goal in one of the other games. Alan McAnally can fill us in. It's a second goal for the home team. 57 minutes played. 2-0. Thanks as ever for the update, Alan. Just a reminder, we have more absorbing action from the Premier League coming your way here on EA TV. It's Arsenal facing Aston Villa. Yeah, really looking forward to it. Shot. The shot wasn't really <laughs> far enough away the from the goalkeeper, was it? No, but he picked up the flight nice and early. And a transfer story that's been front and centre on social media and in the newspapers. Sadio Mane has completed his move to PSG. Well, Derek, I've heard the fees around £55 million. Pounds. That's oh, the type of money you have to pay for a quality oh, player these days. And he is me. quality. Make no mistake about that. Well, you've got to try to make it a bit more difficult for your opponent than that. Here's Keita. Well, he's got plenty of Getting space the on the flank here. Ozil at the ready. Too much success. And you need your defender to take charge. Keita. Making excellent progress with the ball at his feet. Let's give up possession too easy Next right there. Oh, nice defense. Given away. Brazil. Oh, oh, man. Crucial intervention just then That's amid so impending close. danger. Oh, trying to get, we'll get right into his face. Ozil. And 
hearing that there's been a goal in one That's of the great. other matches. Who's it for, Alan McAnally? It's a third goal for the home team. 74 minutes played. 3-0. Alan McAnally oh, with his finger on the it? pulse. He will. It an be good cross. for us. Oh, he gets right past him. Not oh, really the ideal no, clearance. no, 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 no. Not the easiest good of situations save. for the keeper. There's no bombing on. We need to close this game out. There's no way we should draw with these guys at home. They've decided that now is the time to it's go too to much the bench. On this Arsenal awesome team. So the cross comes in. Into the box. <laughs> it wasn't an especially high quality header, was it? Well, that was like one of mine, or more to the point, like one of yours, Derek. You're spot on with that assessment, Lee. And news goal of a goal kick. in one of the other matches over to Alan McAnally. It's a goal for the home team. Eight minutes remain. 1-0. Alan Arsenal McAnally keeping us right up to date. Neck. Looking confident with the ball at his feet. Lacazette. Lacazette, the Lacazette. shot. Oh. Wonderful block. Penalty. And offside it is. Ah. Substitution time it is. Get another chance here. Pierre Emerick Obamayang. Obamayang. Shot. Obamayang. Oh, let's see. Fine goalkeeping to push that the away. Keepers playing a perfectly great. second corner could make all the difference in this game. This one for Arsenal. Responsible for the corner. And well, that is a moment I'm sure he wishes he could have back. Well, he did everything right, the movement and everything. He got his head on it, but it's way, way off target. Just a couple of minutes left, depending on stoppage time. And, and the referee is going to add on three minutes. Three minutes. And just the one minute left in normal time here. Immers. And it's with Eric Falkenburg. It's not lost on oh, them no, what a goal could shot. mean at this late stage. <laughs> and that's it. And that will be all for this evening. Oh, it's it is a draw. share of the points with on Monday Day One Lee. Well, he can't Admiral. really complain. No He's got an ideal bad. start. Three points would have been the target at the start of the night. And a little bit more pressure Our just been piled on them now just for game two. Break him down and score. Well, certain things came off for him in this game, but not everything, Lee. Well, sometimes you lose that fight against your individual opponent. That was the case today for him. Just totally outclassed. Didn't really get into the game. Needs to do better next time out. Embarrassing. Man of the match, Glasnack. 8.4. And nobody else really played too great. And they had an 8.4 center back. Well, let's hit this interview. Lacazette is continuing his hot run of form. How satisfied are you with his performance today? We need Alexander to keep this good momentum going for as long as possible. He did well today, but being able to keep this form up is important. Did you go into the game aiming for a goal as you draw? This is the game we should have won, plain and simple. It's beyond me how we failed to score today. I'll be emphasizing attack and finishing in our next practice. Cannon was one of the best players of the opposition today. Is his confident display in defense the reason behind your failure to get a positive result? I was disappointed in the way we played, and you gotta give credit to Cannon. Your morale can go down. Y'all need to step it up.
Arsenal left to rue missed chances in AD and Adu deadlock. Hey Gaffer, I really appreciate you listening to me and letting me get out there to play while I'm in form. I expect this type of performance every week. If you keep it up, you'll be a certain starter. Which is probably not true. So our next match will be against Aston Villa in the Premier League. My squad is not too, too bad, but squad morale is down. But if they were performing better, it wouldn't be this bad. It wouldn't be bad. So David Luiz comes back in. Maitland Niles. Obama Yang goes back up top. Like I said, Pepe. Well, we'll see. And Socrates, the captain, comes back. We'll switch those. And I believe everyone else is where they should go. Felipe. And we're going to bring out Saka. Ah, press the wrong buttons. And Felipe will play in spot of Gwinduzi. So next episode will be against Aston Villa at home in the Premier League, who are currently in first place, and we are in third, two points behind, only three goals scored. Our defense is playing amazing, and that's the only reason we have a chance right now. So through five games, man, I hope this is not FIFA 19 all over again. You have. Liverpool in 17th, Spurs in 19th, Manchester City in 11th, United in 9th, Southampton 2nd. Hopefully this is just 5 games and it'll kind of correct itself. So if you like the, watching the series, please subscribe, leave a like on the video, comment below on any ideas you have for me, players, tactics, formations. And until next time, take care.